Hey fam and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys for tuning in. If you are new and this is your first time stopping by, welcome and I hope you guys subscribe. For today's makeup tutorial, I wanted to create a summertime fine makeup look. It is super easy, effortless, and a very pretty and bronzy, especially for the summer. Um, this is my go-to look, especially if I'm on the go and I want to create something quick. It literally takes me maybe 15 minutes to create this look. I know I've been a little MIA on YouTube. It's been a minute since I've uploaded, so I really wanted to create a video for you guys, and this is what I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so for today's makeup look, I wanted to go ahead and make sure my face is nice and moisturized. So for that purpose, I did go ahead and use a sheet mask. I love using sheet masks for that reason, just because it really does add moisture onto the skin. It keeps it nice and soft and youthful, which, you know, you guys, we have to take care of our skin. So anyways, the one that I used earlier today, and I won't be doing it on camera just because obviously like it would take so long, but I used the Pure Lease, I believe is how you say it. I had received these masks in an Ipsy bag um, a while back just to try it out, and I absolutely love them. Um, I have two here. One is coconut and rice, which is supposed to be moisturizing and soothing. And then I also have the green tea and ginger, which is supposed to rejuvenate and detoxify the skin. So the one that I used earlier was one of these, was the green tea and ginger, just because I wanted to make sure my skin was nice and radiant and glowy for this summer look. So these are the ones that I used. I also used um, the Shea Moisture, which I think I buy at Target. Yes, at Target. And this one is just a um, mud mask. I have charcoal, I have like green tea, I have different ones, and these ones are more of a mask as opposed to the sheets. So I like using the masks like at night just to kind of really give myself that pampering effect and have my skin nice and rejuvenated overnight. So I like to use these ones at night and I like to use sheet masks during the day. So I went ahead and did one of these. Um, before starting off with my makeup. To set my skin today, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by prepping it using the ColourPop Rose Quartz um, Crystal Priming Spray. It comes like this and it does have like little crystals inside of here which are supposed to be illuminating and radiant for us. So I'm gonna just go ahead and grab my little bottle and give myself a couple of spritz. So now that our setting spray has set into our skin, I'm going to go in with my usual, which is the Advanced Clinicals Instant Plumping Collagen. I love using collagen drops. Again, we want to make sure our skin is nice and youthful, so I like using drops to really lock in the moisture. So I just add a little bit of this onto the skin and then just rub it in with my hands. So make sure your hands are nice and clean because we don't want bacteria that can cause breakouts on our skin. So just that little bit that we did, the mask, the collagen, the spray is really already giving me a nice glow to my skin, which is absolutely amazing. So next I'm gonna go in with my Flower Beauty primer and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on the areas where I have pores naturally just so that we can go ahead and block those suckers and have that nice blurred effect once we do foundation. And I apply this product all in my T-zone area. I can say that it's for summer, but honestly for me, it's like any time of the year, I wanna make sure I'm nice and glowy and my skin looks nice and radiant. But because this is a summer tutorial, I do wanna also implement that it is prime for us to look nice and pretty on our skin. So I'm gonna be going in with my Revolution Luminous Gold Drops, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a couple droplets of this onto the high points of my face, which would be like right here, and then um, like on the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, and then right above the brow. Just a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my Beauty Blender. This is just gonna act as a base for our highlight later on and also give us a nice 
look to our skin. Like a little bit goes a long way, so make sure you guys don't overdo it because then if you are oily, it might make you look oily. So that will not be cute. Okay, I'm gonna be going in with my favorite pomade, which is the Milani um, a Dark Brown Stay Put Brow. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this off of camera and I will be right back. For my foundation today, I want it to be medium coverage. I am naturally not a full coverage type of girl unless I have like an event or some kind of thing going on later at night. So for summertime especially, I like to still allow my skin to breathe and be nice and just on its own, <laughs> kind of doing its own thing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect, and I'm also gonna be mixing in a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me. Um, this is in the shade 332, which is Golden Caramel. I am a little bit more tan now that it's summertime, and the Revlon one is, I am not sure what the shade is. Oh, it's natural beige. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair these two together and just add a little bit onto the skin. I still want my freckles to pop through, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm just doing enough to cover up any imperfections that I might have, but I am going a little bit lighter in the eye area just because I do want my freckles to peek through and have more of that natural makeup look. go in with the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer and Eye Brightener. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this under my eyes just to really give myself that nice bright eye effect before applying my concealer. And I just like applying this color right in this corner just because I want to make sure this little area right here is really what's getting brightened up. this product almost like concealer if you don't have like horrible under eye bags or um, dark circles because look it just like brightened up that area but we do want to make sure everything is covered so I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline instant H rewind in light and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit more of a highlight effect under here so I'm just very generous with it but I also don't want to be too generous because I don't want to cover up my freckles. So then again, going back in with the beauty sponge and then just gently patting that under the eye. A great concealer too. It doesn't crease on me and it really does its job when it comes to highlighting under my under eye and it's super light and airy especially for summertime you don't want to have like a full cake face so I just really love using these products together because I feel like I've been wearing them for the last couple of weeks when I do my makeup and it really really like allows my skin to still breathe but I also look flawless So I'm not going to bake, but I do want to go ahead and set the concealer just because we, again, don't want it to crease and I just want to make sure it stays put, especially if it's warm out and you're sweating, you definitely want to make sure that it doesn't start to separate. So I'm going to go in with the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Finishing Powder. This is just um, in the shade translucent and I'm going to go ahead and grab my Kat Von D um, brush, which is my favorite to do this step. Again, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of powder just to really set that in place. The rest of my face just because I'm still having to go in with, um, you'll see, I'll be going in and contouring. Um, so you don't want to set your entire face. It's just the areas where you applied 
the concealer. bronzy skin. I mean, naturally I'm already tan, but I just love having bronzer. Bronzer is one of my favorite things along with highlighter and pretty much anything else, but honestly, um, bronzy skin is the definition of summertime. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of color onto my skin using the Maybelline um, concealer in hazelnut. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this just to be my base before applying the actual bronzer. So I'm just going to go in the areas right here where you usually bronze and this one is just more of a golden brown shade so it's perfect for the base before applying your concealer so just put it on the chin and any other areas that you guys liked bronze Blend that into place. I'm going to be using an e.l.f. small stippling brush and I'm just going to go ahead and do it downwards. It's nice and subtle but it still does its job when it comes to bronzing up your skin and it doesn't look harsh or anything so I like using this product. Place. I'm just gonna go in with Mac give me Sun it's just a nice bronzy bronzer <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that in place and a little bit of this goes a long ways you don't want to look orange or overdone so just a light hand to set that um, to set that bronzer in place Bit on an angled brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my nose contour just ever so slightly. Everybody does their makeup differently, and for me, it's like I get carried away doing certain things that I, you know, jump around from area to area. So I know I just stopped at the face, but we're gonna go ahead and bring it back to the eyes. I want to do something simple because. In summertime, we don't have time to do like full glam or anything like that. Usually, this whole process might take me like 15 minutes tops to complete. Um, so I just want to keep it very simple on the eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use two of my palettes. They're the Morphe 3502 along with the Morphe 35B palette. Uh, the 35B palette, if you guys have not seen it yet, has a range of colors. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be sticking to more of like the peachy, pinky, just, you know, very youthful and very summer looks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Morphe 3502 palette and then just use literally just one shade because I need a transition shade and I might be using this one or this one. So I will let you guys know, but I'm gonna go ahead and use these two palettes for today's makeup look. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and switch brushes. I'm gonna be using the Morphe M433 brush. It's one of my favorites, especially for like crease because it's not fluffy where it gets everywhere, but it's perfect for just like right underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my 35B palette from Morphe. I'm very zoomed in so you can't see the whole thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix in a little bit of this pink color and a little bit of this peachy color right here. I want to keep it very, very pretty and summery. So I'm just going to go ahead and dust this like right there, like right underneath.
go ahead and do that like i said i just want to have something on my lids but i don't want it to be too dramatic because i want it to be more on the natural side and then taking my ring finger i'm going to go in with this yellow shade here and mix it with this one right up here just to not have it be super intense and then i'm just going to go ahead and tap off the excess on like any towel that you might have i have like a little towel right here i'm just going to pop it like right in the center just to highlight the center part of our lid. And going back in with my brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and really blend those edges together just so that there's no harsh line between our color and then the lid color. So just clean it up. And then taking a, a smaller brush, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the lighter shade of the two that I used. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab it on a smaller brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in the inner corner because as you already know, I like me a very highlighted inner corner, especially for summer looks. You wanna have that nice pretty doe-eyed effect and this is the way to go. So just go ahead and bring it up and in and then just kind of trace it around and then for my brow bone I do also want to go ahead and define that just because you kind of lose that once you start blending so I'm taking just any brush and then I'm gonna be taking this bone color right here in the palette I don't want to use too much of a white one just because I want it to be a nice subtle soft look and I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly go um, trace right underneath my brow bone Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to our lashes. This is the perfect time for you guys to pop on your falsies if you guys are using falsies for this tutorial. For me personally, as you guys should know already, I do not like using falsies. I've tried them in the past and I feel like they're just so damaging. So I'm just going to keep what I have and I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite combo, which is the Colossal from Maybelline as, long, as well as the Lash Sensational. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice curl and coat these puppies up with some mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so now that mascara is on our lashes, this is literally what I get from those two mascaras and they work for me and I just love it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the eye look. I'm going to go in with the brownie shade from the Morphe 3502 palette, which is this one right here. I'm going to be taking it on a smaller precise brush and just start working that into the lower lash line so that everything is cohesive and it matches what we did on the top of our eye I'm gonna go back into the 35B palette which is this one right here and I'm gonna go ahead and take this peachy shade and apply it right underneath that like to do when I'm not going to be doing full on eyeliner um, especially for summer looks I like to have like more of a fuller lash effect so if I do eyeliner on the top it's going to cut that in half and my lashes are not going to look the best and they're not going to be living at their best life so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit of what I do I take a nano liner which is one like this and it is a super precise felt tip eyeliner there we go and what I like to do is I just like to create the illusion that I'm wearing eyeliner but what I do is I just give it a quick wing right at the end so just kind of like an extra wisp and it kind of gives you that effect of like wearing actual false moving on to blush I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a nice blush of color using the wet n wild pearl essence pink I like this blush because it has a little bit of a sheen to it and it'll it's just so pretty for for summer looks and I just like applying it all over my cheeks. Using a loose powder. Um, this is from Shayla and Colourpop um, Collab. So I'm going to be using this one. This is in the shade Booming. And I love this highlight because it almost serves as a good base before applying the other highlight that I'm going to be using. Um, but it's just nice and subtle and it gives you that perfect glow and I'm just taking it on a brush like this and just applying it in the areas where we had applied the liquid highlighter earlier before we 
um, did our foundation. It's just a little bit, tap off the excess, and then just like so. Around, I like to create a C. Especially if we're gonna be taking pictures, girl, this highlight is gonna be popping in the sunlight. It's gonna look so pretty. And to highlight my nose, I've been liking just doing like the tip of my nose with a smaller brush and then the upper bridge of my nose, leaving like a space in between. And just kind of like letting it do its own thing. It's just it's so pretty that way. I am going to be using a second highlight just because I like having a little bit more of a glow. Um, so I'm going to be taking the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, same brush, and then just lightly going over that. And then just really intensifying the previous highlight. Just like that. Let's go ahead and set our brows in place because we want to give them that nice texture and that fuller brow effect. So I'm going to be using my go-to Maybelline Brow Pre-Size and this is just in deep brown. It does have a little bit of a tint to it so if you guys want to have more of a lighter brow, you guys could probably go down a shade but this just works for me so I'm going to go ahead and set my brows in place. And then when I'm doing this, I like to kind of brush them back this way and then just upward a little bit to kind of give them a nice little fluff and they look a little messy and pretty so that's what I like to do personally and if you mess up like I did just go ahead and pretend that never happened and just wipe it off but yeah you can push them upward and then your hairs will naturally look a little messy and fuller and yeah girl you're gonna have freaky brows my lips today we are gonna go ahead and stick to nude just because summer screams out just natural makeup and nothing's more natural than nude lips so I'm gonna go and outline my lips using the NYX suede matte lip liner this is in the color London and I'm gonna go ahead and just outline my lips Color. I'm going to be taking the Shayla in ColourPop lipstick. This is in the color Quickie. And I'm going to go ahead and use this one just because it's literally so beautiful. And it's been like my go-to nude color. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto the lips as well. it like this and this could be your final look but I do want to add lip gloss onto the picture just because summer I feel like you want to have nice skin luscious plump lips and I am obsessed with this lip gloss it is also from the Shayla and Colourpop Cosmetics collab and it is in the shade Neat Freak and it just has like little specks in here and it's literally like such a good gloss. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this onto the center of the lips just to give us a nice fuller pout. Last but not least, you want to go ahead and set your face one more time. I'm going to go back in with the ColourPop Misting Spray. So this, you guys, sums up this summertime fine makeup tutorial. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys help your girl out and subscribe before heading out of this video but yeah I will go ahead and see you guys in my next tutorial